Hello, my dear grade 12 students. Welcome back to another series of lecture about practical research too. I know you are all excited, so let's start. For today's topic, we will be discussing importance of quantitative research to different disciplines. Ladies and gentlemen, our lesson two. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to enumerate the importance of quantitative research in the following fields, education, ABM, STEM, and UMS, as well as illustrate the importance of quantitative research to different disciplines. Before we proceed to today's lesson, let's have a short recap. Last meeting, we defined research in general. Then, we described characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research. In terms of definition, research is to repeat looking for something, while quantitative research is an objective, systematic, empirical investigation of observable phenomena through the use of computational techniques. In terms of characteristics, quantitative research is objective, has clearly defined research questions, has structured research instruments, uses numerical data, uses large sample sizes, is replicable, and its results can be used in the future. Just what I have said, we also had the strengths and weaknesses of quantitative research. And the highlight of our last meeting discussion is the kinds of quantitative research. So they are descriptive research, correlational research, evaluation research, survey research, causal comparative research, and experimental research. Our lesson today focuses on the importance of quantitative research in four significant disciplines, such as education, accounting, business and management, or ABM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, and humanities and social studies, or UMS. It is inevitable that some of you are asking the reason why do we have to study research and why do we make research? Well, I believe that knowing the importance of research, quantitative research, in our situation will somehow provide us clearer insights and directions to answer these curious questions. So, I need you to focus and understand this importance and let me know what did you realize after hearing all of this through the reflection part of your module. Research studies are gaining an unprecedented focus and attention. Then, only the faculty members in the higher education have so much interest and conduct researches, but now, even in the teachers in the basic education are engrossed in researches and devote time and effort in conducting researches to improve educational practices that may lead to more quality learning of the students. Many teachers do action researches because there is a serious need to identify the problems of the deteriorating quality of education. By doing so, they can be addressed systematically and educational decisions are assured to be sound. Innovative teaching strategies are product of researches. Researches also validate, test, and challenge existing educational practices that may lead to reforms which are more contextualized, localized, and responsive to the needs of the learners. Aside from the numerous profits that research brings to the teaching profession, research provides many benefits to various fields as well. In the area of accounting, business, and management, or ABM, researchers can help design a new product or service, figuring out what is needed and ensuring that the development of a product is highly targeted towards demand. 
Businessmen can also utilize research results to guarantee sufficient distribution of their products and decide where they need to increase their product distribution. Conducting researches can also help a business determine whether now is the proper time to open another branch or whether it needs to apply for a new loan. It may also help a small business decide if a procedure or strategy should be changed to meet the requirements of the customer base. Research is important for any organization to remain competitive in the market. The primary function of research in ABM is to correctly determine its customers and their preferences, establish the enterprise in the most feasible location. Also, in the delivery of quality goods and services, to analyze what the competitors are doing and find ways on how to continuously satisfy the growing and varied needs of the clients. In the field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics or STEM, medical practitioners, for example, conduct researches to obtain significant information about disease trends and risk factors, results of various health interventions, patterns of care, and health care costs and use. The different approaches to research provide complementary insights. Researchers help in determining the effectiveness and even side effects of drugs and therapies in different populations and various locations. It is also necessary in evaluating experiences in clinical practice in order to develop mechanisms for best practices and to ensure high-quality patient care. Researchers in this field ultimately aim for man's longevity. As for the engineers, architects, and other builders, research helps in providing designs which are creatively beautiful and at the same time give more convenience and efficiency as they utilize modern technology to adapt to the ever-changing society. New materials and procedures may be developed so as to further strengthen the structural materials that can withstand various calamities and disasters. In the discipline of humanities and social sciences, research aims to provide solutions to the social problems directly felt by people. Researchers in this field deal more on societal behaviors and social issues such as stress, worker ethics, organizational commitment, leadership style, child labor, teenage pregnancy, human trafficking, to drug addiction and other forms of criminality. Social science researchers lead to the understanding of social interactions that may lead to the formulation of new theories and practices that contribute to societal development and welfare. As a whole, research can help us understand and assess the things and occurrences around us. It provides us with rationale and justifications for our decisions and actions. It gives us the opportunity to discover various means of identifying problems, to find new ways of dealing with life's challenges, and to come up with innovative materials and mechanisms that can improve the quality of our lives. That ends our short lesson for today. 
Thank you for listening and congratulations for making it this far. I wish that that lesson enlightened you to somehow come up with possible answers to the said questions. Again, those are the importance of quantitative research to the different disciplines, including your students. Thank you and may God bless you. You can do the activities related to this topic. Good luck!